want to go talk to Enra in the main gate and we can get uh, some shenanigans. So a lot of these events are just kind of like, uh, some of them are just random dialogues. Some are more important. Some give you items, some don't. You just never know. Yeah, what? Enra. I'm Enra from Class First. Yeah, that's right. THE Class First. Jealous? Isn't it funny how love just kind of smacks you right between the eyes? Excuse me? I mean, think about it. Could there be a worse time to get caught up in all that roses or red garbage than right in the middle of a war? Then again, maybe a little romance is exactly what we all need in a time like this. When you're in love, you've got someone to fight for. To make sure you make it out alive. But here I am, in love with the girl of my dreams, and that jerk's always blocking me out. They're not even dating or anything. Gah! Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Hi, Potion. Doo doo doo. Alright. What else we got? Um. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I think there's one we can do in here. I think we want to go talk to you. Yeah, this one's like a cutscene, so it's like an automatic thing. Rubrum girl, if it's not any trouble, I would like to ask your assistance. Oh, yes ma'am? We are envoys for the Kingdom of Concordia. We must speak with the Chancellor quickly. We would like to know where we might find his office. We received directions, but the scenery impressed me so that I seem to have gotten us lost. The best way to get to the Chancellor's office is by going through that magic portal up ahead. Oh hmm. my. It appears that we've taken quite the detour now, haven't we? You seem so confident. I was certain you knew where you were going. Thank you for your help, young lady. May the path you follow be bright. Hmm. Okay, Celestia. Whoever you may be. Turbo Ether. Turbo Ether. We can do it. Oh, the woman from before was from Concordia. Isn't that the country where only women hold positions of power? Hmm. Could be. We got a turbo ether. Do 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 do. Turbo ether. Stores 100% of targets MP, of course. What do you think it was gonna do, you punk? I I I just hiccup up by the way. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Antoma. Did we have the green before, or were they just not ordered? I don't know. Power of healing, whatever. Those will come into play sooner rather than later. Here's another one we can see somewhere in here. There we go. Yeah. Azuma. The name's Azuma. You must be from the infamous Class Zero. What's the deal with you guys anyway? Keep talking, sir. Everybody's talking about you, saying you're the arch sorceress's little pets, and that you only got into academia because of her. Don't get me wrong, you guys were incredible back there during the Liberation, but a lot of people are wondering why you guys could use magic when no one else could. Because we're special, Ed. You guys probably can't talk about that anyway. Must be tough having so many secrets. People don't like it when you've got too many secrets, though, so I'd watch your back. That Dr. Al Rasha is a woman of mystery herself, and that rubs some folks the wrong way. I mean, she, I mean, she got into the consortium pretty quickly, and she has a lot of pull with the Chancellor. The people that don't think too fondly of her probably aren't too crazy about you guys either. All I'm saying is be careful that you don't get caught up in all their stupid power struggles. Elixir! Gotta get an elixir. Yeah? Who cares about all those politics anyway? We got an elixir. Do, 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 do. I guess we already had an elixir, but guess what? Now we have another one. So how's that grab you, man? So I think there's one we can do in the, uh... The airship landing over here. 
Airship landing. How you doing? Koopa? Koopa? Don't get the wrong idea. Just because we're healers doesn't mean we're weak, Koopa. Okay. Shut up, man. You know nothing of anything. You know what? A bunch of soldiers just came and burned down the village. And you know what else? Mommy's really happy. Okay. All the people in the village went bye-bye. At first I was crying, but Mommy said we shouldn't be smiling instead. We should be smiling. Mommy and me didn't used to have a lot of gills, but Mommy said that now that everybody's dead, we never have to worry about gills ever again. Okay. So now I'm happy because Mommy's happy. Oh, by the way, what's a loan? <laughs> Hi, Potion. Hi, Potion. Goodbye. Okay, calm down, sir. Do, 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 do. Alright. So, let's see what else. I don't think we can access the arena yet. I think we can find uh, Machina or Ace in the Crystarium. Where we're, where we're controlling Ace, so, so Machina will probably be there. Otherwise, I think Ace could be there. It's another. Machina, looking for something? Uh, yeah. Capital Liberation Campaign Report. What do you want to know? Oh, you know, just some stuff. Let's see. So, uh, I guess even Class Zero doesn't have access to top secret mission reports, huh? Only division heads have the authority to read classified mission reports. Any particular reason you want to know? Oh, I was just a little curious. Oh, hello. What are you two talking about? Deuce! Oh, nothing important. See ya. Uh, did I happen to interrupt something? <clears throat> Ace? There's something familiar about him. Something familiar, you say? When I look at Machina, I can't help but feel like I've met him before. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I wish I knew. Okay. Turbo Ether. Alright, so there's one in the uh, armory with Kazusa, but... But it's only available when there are six or less hours left, and it's part of a quest, so we shall get to that. Uh, let's see. And there's another one tied to that as well. But we can go into the armory and do an event with King. I don't know if they have any... Any better stuff to buy there yet, but... Bum, bum, bum. Armory! Armor hot dogs! It's King! Huh. <laughs> Never thought I'd be sharing my home with the Vermilion Bird Crystal. Oh yeah? Ever notice how all the cadets around here have different colored capes? Each class has its own color. But I wasn't paying attention when Mother first brought me to Academia. Class Zero wears crimson in honor of the Vermilion Bird. But that's not all we stand for. We also represent Mother. She's the one who pulled strings to get us here in the first place. The other cadets complain about us riding in on our coattails. They ain't completely wrong, but that's exactly why we gotta prove ourselves. To show everyone that Mother made the right choice in bringing us here. And we get an either. Oh, no. You got any new stuff? Nope, same stuff. Same stuff. 
we already have all that nonsense, so it doesn't matter, man. Alright, uh, we want to go to... We want to go to the ready room and do an event with Carla, which which starts at the, which starts the Carla quest. Bum 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 bum. How you doing? Doing all right, man. Hanging out. Hanging out oh, like like Hasty Steven. How do you do? My name is Carla. Pleasure. Hello. Ah, face to face with the star pupil. Your stellar reputation precedes you, Carla. Oh, well, that's what they say, but I'm nothing compared to you guys. Oh, so you're like a good student. <laughs> really, I'm not. I just can't abandon anyone in need, that's all. You're a kind soul. So, are either of you in need of something? Hmm... I need Trey to stop saying such unpleasant things all the time. <laughs> what? Hmm, I see, I see. Then how would you like to sign up for Carla's self-improvement seminar? It'll fix any defective personality in a snap! He'll be your loyal servant in no time! Defective personality? Servant? Sign up now, and your first seminar will cost just 250,000 gil! What? Huh. I don't think Trey is worth that much to me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have pegged you for such a tight wad. Well, don't hesitate to call me for any problems you might have. Huh. So that's Carla. Hmm. What a character. Am I... really that unpleasant? <laughs> I was joking. Sort of. So we'll be seeing more of Carla. We get a pretty pellet. A pretty pellet. Do 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 do. It's a pretty pellet. Very beautiful hide that grants aura and protect. Okay. Sounds exciting to me. Okay. So now we can go to the terrace and do an event with uh, Takeda. I don't think it's T Takeda, but you need to have more than six hours left. So we should be good as far as that goes. The terrace. Yes, I'm in charge of class third, Koopo. What of it? Oh, honestly, don't look at me like you've never seen a Moogle before, Koopo. Surely you realize by now that each class has, has its own Moogle, haven't you? Oh, and I can't tell you how many times I've overheard cadets debating what we are, Koopo. We're Moogles, Koopo, not fairies, not monsters, and certainly not critters. I mean, do we look like a bunch of fuzzy flying woodland creatures to you? Kinda. I digress. The Moogle assigned to your class is still a rookie, Koopo. Our job is to support you cadets, but I doubt Z can even support herself on those feeble wings. In that case, I suggest you avoid relying too heavily on that Moogle of yours, Koopo. Instead of asking for her advice, try using your own brain, Koopo. You can manage that, can't ya? Mega Potion! Bum 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 bum! All right. Hmm. What is it? Takedo. Well, if it isn't Class Zero, the heroes of the liber oh, <laughs> the heroes of the liberation. It's an honor. Don't look, don't look so surprised. There isn't a soul in the Dominion who doesn't know who you are. The name's Takedo, by the way. Now that the military has set up headquarters here at Academia, I suppose we'll be running into each other pretty often from now on. Say, have you ever run into an instructor named Amina Hanaharu? Amina's like one of my favorite characters in this game. She be the bomb diggity, yo. 
You'd know if you saw her. She's by far the most gorgeous woman in Rubrum, and a real sweetheart. It's true. Apparently, she's an avid beachgoer, and she even wears swimsuits around her room. Adorable, right? Anyway, sorry for chewing your ear off like that. Huh. <laughs> Hi, Potion. Bum, bum. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, there's actually on a quest where, where you start a quest with Amina, but we gotta wait till there's five hours or less. But you can talk to Machina or Rem for, for, for an event here. For a sweet. So, do you remember when you put a hole in the roof of that shed? <laughs> I still have some scars from the tongue lashing we got. Of course I remember. I'm doing quite yeah. well. The crystals allow us to forget the people who died. But the memories of the events that happened remain with us. I still have the knowing tags. I kept the ones from everyone in the village. Oh. Even now I can't get over it. That I didn't have the strength to fight when the village burned down. But back then... We were only children. There was nothing we could have done. Right? Makina, I remember you said you would be a great warrior one day and protect me from all the bad grown-ups. I remember too. Well then... Do you also remember that you promised to marry me when we got older? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, well, um, I wasn't really thinking at the time, so, uh... Aw, but I thought you were serious. You've become so cold, Makina. <sighs> Don't tease me like that. Nah. That's a shame. Make a potion! And she disappeared. What's up? You guys were truly amazing against that Lassie. You have to tell me your secret. Quiet down, sir. You weren't so bad yourself, you know. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. Like Hasty Steven style and such. All right. Uh, now we want to go to bo 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 bo. Now we should be able to go to the fountain courtyard and do an event with Rem after you see that one. Rem and Machina are like childhood friends Can I help you? Woo, I was a little nervous back there. I was, but I'd say it sure was a good run for our first mission as a team. I used to be a member of Class 7th until recently, but I never dreamt someone like myself would ever join the legendary Class 0. Everyone always talks about how Class 1st is the best, but after seeing you all in action, I'm convinced of how incredible you are now. More than anything, I was so overwhelmed by how strong you all were out there. Not just physically, but mentally and emotionally, too. How can you stare death in the face like that without even getting a tad bit spooked? I hope someday I'll be able to keep my composure out in the field like you all do. After all, I'm a member of Class Zero, too. I am. So I'd better start acting like one now. Ether. Dun, dun. All right. Now we want to uh do, do 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 do. Here's my piece of shit computer. Oh oh oh, oh yeah. Ha ha ha. Let's see. All right. Bum, bum.
Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, six hours. So we should be able to go see. Uh, ba ba ba. Kazusa in the armory. Kazusa in the armory. Woohoo! There's the fart cracker. This one's kind of important, actually. Hmm. According to my theory, this should be right. Maybe I need more samples. <laughs> Would you not sneak up on me like that? That's class zero for you. I'm Kazusa. I guess you could say I'm a researcher with the Armory Guild. Pleased to meet you. Oh, he, right. He, he's wearing a tie. I've been wanting to talk to you class zero kids. Would you come with me? I know you're busy. So just stop by when you have time. I'd love to see any member of class zero. So please tell your classmates. Okay. Ether. I've and been can... waiting. So have you decided to come to the lab with me? Of course. You're such a good sport. Now let's say we have a little fun together. Okay. So I mentioned there was a secret room in here. Well, we're going to find that out. And this is my secret lab. Well, don't be shy. Go on in. Tell me what to do, punk. I could throw, throw a card at you, you know. Then you'll know how it feels. Hey, punk. The hell? Oh, come on. Don't be so mad. You know me. I had to know more. So you the drug can... isn't as strong as what I used on you. The kid will be fine. All right. I'm sorry. You can kind of rotate the camera here for some reason. Look! It's wearing off. The kid's waking up now. Everything's fine. Hey! Crossame! <sighs> we could have all gone together. That cross me. Such a shy boy. Cross hmm. me. Looks like the drug hasn't worn off entirely. Oh well. I guess I'll have to carry you. Oh, okay. I, so I guess we were drugged. You get an ether. Now we're in his lab. You. Bastard! I've been waiting. How dare you, sir. When it comes to muscle volume, male bodies are by far the most interesting. Maybe I should consider collecting a larger number of male samples for my studies. Okay, Mega Potion. I've been waiting. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I was hoping another one of you kids might drop by. Hmm. You don't say. Bump, bump, bump. I've been waiting. Alrighty then. First study. Um. So that's how you get into here. Okay. So now I think we can s we can see another thing here in the terrace. Here we go. Here's Amina. 
She's one of my favorite characters. I miss you. Do 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 do. How you doing? Doing all right, man. Hanging out. Why, hello. You're from Class Zero, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. You kids are famous. Dr. Horatia's darling children. The ones who destroyed the Crystal Jammer. Oh my my, what's this? Now you don't trust me? And you're not even trying to hide it. How adorable. My name is Emina. I'm a commander of cadets. However, I don't have a class at the moment, so I'm basically no different from any old Tribune. <laughs> That's a shame. But knowing that someone like you is a cadet, I wish I had a class of my own. I'm sure you'd much rather have me than Karasume as a commander, right? No doubt. Come and see me if you have the time. I never go out into battle, so you can always find me in academia. I'll be waiting. Okay. So you get a random item from that. We got a high potion. So it, it I think it could be like a potion or a ether or whatever. Bum 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 bum. Nobody beats Emina. Nobody. I missed you. This new bikini is pretty daring, but it's absolutely adorable. It's no fun to wear it around my room, though. I can't wait to hit the beach and show it off. <laughs> Alright. So, that starts the, the uh, Emina quest. Which, uh, which kind of goes on a bit throughout the game. So I think that's all of the events that we can see. Let's see. So with the the, the Akazusa quest, you have to visit him with different characters as your lead character. Bum, 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 bum. So we want to visit him as Cater next. I don't think there's any hint to it, but... But that's the way it goes. It's kind of annoying that you have to, uh... Kind of go all the way over here to... Switch your character. Cater. I'm Cater. I'm a short pile of shit with, with, with a backpack. Didn't you know? Das Boot? Das Boot? Das Boot? How you doing? Yay! Bum, bum, bum. I've been waiting. There we go. And now she gets drugged. Come to think of it, Amina has quite an interesting mark on her back. Oh? <laughs> Not that I care one way or the other. Okay. Mega Ether. Alright. I've been waiting. I'm just hoping another one of you kids might drop by. Okay, so the next one is with either Sink or Cease. Either one. They should have put a terminal thing like right here so you didn't have to go as far each time, but... Oh well. 
Dun, dun, dun. Hasty Steven style. So either sink or cease. I guess we'll we'll do it as cease. I don't know why. Why not? Dun dun dun. Subway, 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I've been waiting. Stop drugging me, sir. I don't appreciate it at all. Interesting. The Commandant's got a bald head, but he sure isn't bald anywhere else. He wanted me to make him a hair-growing tonic. Ugh. I don't wanna. Okay. Mega Ether. We just keep getting items. Meatball Marinara. And the next one as either Deuce or Seven. Deuce or seven. Do 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 do. Here's my piece of shit computer. Oh 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 oh, oh, oh yeah. Ha ha ha. Deuce or seven. We'll probably do seven because seven is cool. I don't know why. But <laughs> yeah, seven. Cause she uses a whip, a whip blade, and whip blades are cool, man. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! Lancer does not. Lancer can't have meatballs. I mean, it's probably good, but, you know. Maybe if the beef meatballs were made of turkey. That, that might be a thing. I've been waiting. Sure you have. Drugged again. Chancellor Kalia has quite a muscular body for an individual his age. I wish okay. I could see it again. If only I hadn't put his guards on the alert. This guy is like incredibly creepy. Mega Ether. All right. So the next one. No, 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 no. And then next one is either nine or Jack. Nine or Jack. Do 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 do. Be nice if you could just go into your menu and switch your character out that way. It'd be much quicker, but... no, oh, well. Can't win them all. Sometimes you can't win any of them. Niner Jack. Oh, Nine's the spear dude. And Jack's the... Samurai. Or ninja dude, or whatever. I'm Jack, didn't you know? I use a katana. Because why the beep not? Nine's the dragoon of the group. Jack's the samurai or a ninja, whatever. Do 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 do. How you doing? I've been waiting. This guy is so creepy. Drugged again. I've seen all kinds, but Crossmay's body really is the most fascinating. Oh, yeah? Just what I'd expect. 
from someone who is still in active service. He's really into, into the male body. Mega Potion! Okay, so the next one is with Ace or King. Ace or King. And of course, if you couldn't tell, a lot of the characters are named after, you know, cards. You know, because that's a thing. I guess we'll do King, because he's a jerk. He uses t tw twin pistols. And, and he's got the mullet. <laughs> and he wears a pair of khaki pants, for whatever reason. That he probably bought at JCPenney's. For like... For like thirty ninety nine. I've been waiting. Sure have, mi 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 Mr. Creeper. When it comes to muscle volume, male bodies are by far the most interesting. Maybe I should consider collecting a larger number of male samples for my studies. Okay. Mega potion. We're getting a lot of mega potions at least. All right. So the next one is Trey or Rum. Trey or Rum. Rum's of course one of my favorites. But I think we'll do Trey just because I don't know why. Why not? Give him a little air time, because he's a fart cracker. So. Yeah. Trey Parker. He uses bows. He's the archer of the group. Uh huh. I hear he's also a big fan of Hasty Steven. So that's a thing. How you doing? Do 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 do. Yeah. How you doing, sir? I've been waiting. Getting drugged again. So beautiful. The human body. It truly is a work of art. I want to make one with my own two hands. And then for that, research. He's gonna make a human body. Well, make a potion. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. And the last one is with eight, eight, excuse me, eight or machina. Of course, eight's Mr. Tekken. He uses fists, gloves, whatever. And I don't remember what what Machina actually uses. I don't remember. Do 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 do. What does Machina use? Oh, oh, rapiers. That's right. Let's do eight, because he's Mr. Tekken, so... He's also the shortest male character. Eh. <laughs> Dr. Pepper! S still wondering where Dr. Pepper got his... got his medical license. I still wonder about that. I'm moving faster. Eh. It is nice that you can increase the speed of your movement in this version. Can't do that in the PSP version. Waiting. 
So I think you can do these in any order, actually. It's kind of cool. Bum -bum. It feels like it's been a while since I've spoken to Karasame. I guess that's what happens when you have different responsibilities. But it would be nice to work together again sometime. This guy mutters a lot, doesn't he? Mega potion. I've been waiting. All right. Yeah, Queen is actually not, not, not in the list of anything. So this is only like half the quest. There's another set of these, which become available in Chapter Seven, I believe. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right. So we already started the the Emina quest. So that's all we can do for here. He likes Dr. Pepper. Especially if it's Dr. Pepper Zero. Also, I think all those scenes that we just seen are now in here, so it's a good way to keep track of which ones you've seen. Yeah, there. Oh, oh, we got some more of these. L Lady Celestia of Concordia. Machina and Rem reminisce. Carla's self-improvement seminar. <laughs> oh, you must be the famous class zero. Quiet down, Carla. Machina's investigation. Because Machina's Machina. shifty. Looking for something. He's a very shifty individual, like a referee. And and here's all the Kazuha nonsense. Encounter with Kazusa. Drugged by Kazusa. Kazusa's mutterings one. One through six. I want to make sure you get all of these. You know, because reasons. Reasons chocolate chew. You know how it goes. You know how how hasty Steven rolls. Bum 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 bum. Seven. All right. And there's Imana, who's best character. Do do do. Alright, I don't think there's anything else, but you never know. Let's see if Oh yeah, oh, we got some new character entries. Carla! <laughs> She's 5'5! Five five. Didn't you know? 17, 5'5. Five five. An overachiever with some of the highest grades in academia, Carla plays the part of Goody Two Shoes whenever her instructors are watching, but she foregoes the facade as soon as 
they turn their backs. Although she feigns benevolence, what really drives her is Cold Hard Gill. She has adopted the moniker of Blazing Merchant. Blazing her own business, trails to the Dominion and beyond. Carla will always go out of her way to help her fellow cadets, but only for the right price, of course. She's a mercenary and such, and she has blue hair. Because why the beep not? Emina, best character. Ho ho ho! Of course she gets a better view. You gotta gaze upon her majesty. 25, height 5'6". Once a cadet and now a tribune. Imina works as a commanding officer at Academia. Even though she does not currently lead a class of her own, she excels in both the military and scholastic arts, and her bright, friendly demeanor has won her the admiration of both men and women around Academia. Her gorgeous good looks have also earned her a considerable amount of unwanted attention from men all over the Dominion. <laughs> Those horny bastages. I mean, what? Rumor has it she is an avid connoisseur of bikinis, but none have ever seen her wearing any of the swimsuits in her alleged enormous collection. That's a shame. Kazusa! Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Kazusa! This fart knocker. Mr. Creeper? Oh, you get a close-up of this a-hole. Bum, bum, bum. 26, height 511. In his youth, Kazusa attended academia with, with Kurasame and Imina. Now all three... But although they rarely find themselves working on the same task, their friendship remains just as strong as ever. His colleagues in the armory condemn his crackpot theories, but he is nevertheless... A brilliant, albeit somewhat quirky, scientist. That's a shame. Twenty-five! Anybody else? T Tokido's on here, apparently. <laughs> Look at this asshole. <laughs> he, he doesn't get a close-up view because he's not important, I guess. Tokido Oganaga, male 23, 510. A gentle and mild-mannered guy, Tokido never dreamt of joining the Dominion Legions, but he decided to enlist out of a desire to serve his country. One might also suspect, however, that he may have also joined the Legions in order to impress Emina. Emina Hanaharu, a cadet turned instructor at Academia. He caught a glimpse of her on his initial visit to the school, and it was love at first sight. Although normally rather reserved, Tokido grabs the behemoth by the horns as far as Emina is concerned, su surprising all those around him. November... Do -do 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 -do. Lady Celestia. Hmm. Nice hat. I, I guess she's supposed to be the Pope or something. She gets a close-up view. Is that hair? I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure if that's hair or what. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> Fe Clay Celestia Miska Sanchez. Female 32. Height 4-5. She's a short little bastard. She may be the shortest character yet, other than Moogles and Tomberries. Often monogamous and occasionally malicious, Celestia serves as the Akatoki Warden, one of the elite members of the kingdom's five-star royal guard. She hails from an old and distinguished family. Her parents were very strict with her, bringing up their eldest daughter through rigorous education. Celestia rose to the challenge and sailed through with flying colors. Government officials took note of her hard work and selected her for the position of warden. Despite her hard-working nature, though, Celestia will sometimes lose herself in her surroundings, swept up by beautiful scenery or the sound of music. This affable side has won her great popularity among the kingdom citizens. That's exciting. Damn right it is. Anybody else? Nope, nobody else. No idol in Arcana, enemy compendium, no new enemies. Record of service, nothing. Code of Academia, nothing, I don't think. Okay. 
Good times. Good times being had here in the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know why we're still playing as this fart knocker. Just kind of ridiculous, if, if you ask me. Get back in here, Ace, you pool expert. Saving system file. Do 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 do. Yay! Well, that's all there is to do now, so we can head to. We can head to the mission. That's what we can do. It's gonna be pretty awesome, man. Queen's here. I take a break every now and then. You can obtain all necessary information on upcoming operations here at Central Command. Of course, anyone who actually pays attention in class shouldn't need to ask twice. Oh, oh, oh. How dare you say such a thing. You bastard. Why don't you put down the knife? Meh. 